It'll be another medal for Turkey at these championships. I think we've had a Turkish medal every day so far in the team events and in the individual events yesterday. It's down now to the last two teams. Each of the shooters will have three shots each now. Take us to our final position. Good start from Denisuk. He has been solid as a rock. He's in the nines, but compared to the 8.54 Lee Min, it's given Ukraine a little bit of an advantage. And again, Ryaku is better than Yang Chao on that second shot. So Ukraine will stretch the lead to three points. Well, we saw in the rifle mixed team event, it all came down to the last shot. It was Ukraine versus China. Ukraine led going into the last shots, but it was China who came out victorious. It is three points. It is a big margin. But it could all change in an instant. Denisuk taking his time. 9.7 again. Better than Lee Min. Uh, 1.6. Liaku has been consistent. And 10.5 for Yaku. Well, a nod of the head, and no wonder. That was superb under pressure. Oh, Ukraine really pushing home the advantage there. Look at that difference now. Five points with just four shots remaining. Ah. Denisuk has been the model of consistency here in this final. Uriaku, well... He really picked up in the later stages vital shots from the Arku. Oh, 0.7 this time for the Arku. Will be enough again for an advantage. Ukrainians now ahead of the Chinese team. And there we have it, and it is a world record performance for Ukraine. Well, excellent shooting there from the Ukrainians, 466.4. They establish a new world record. And the advantage that they had that was carried on right to the end. Some great shooting for Denisuk and Lyaku. And they will take the gold medal ahead of China and ahead of Turkey. The advantage was driven home towards the end by the two consistent Ukrainians, Denisuk and Diaku, with Lee and Yang in the silver medal position, and Bilinvar and Karagol, the bronze medal position for Turkey. So gold to Ukraine, silver to China, and bronze to Turkey.